The Derek Chauvin verdict is anticipated to be revealed soon, and this has America in a tense state of anxiousness and suspense. Now, given the death of George Floyd last year, I think that most people here in America are nervous that riots and destruction of buildings are likely to follow the verdict, making us reflect on the monster that America has created. But there are a couple of things that I do know that I think are critically important for those of us that are Christians to keep in mind no matter what the verdict is. I know that no matter where you stand on the verdict, you probably want rightful justice to be served in court and we pray that it will be but whatever happens we know that God's kingdom is not of this world and that ultimate vengeance belongs to the Lord Christians can feel a sense of peace knowing that one day God will right every single wrong that's been committed so we don't have to take revenge into our own hands and given the state of pain and frustration that people are in right now all across America there's an opportunity for us that are Christians to be light in the darkness that's consuming our world today so if you don't remember anything else I say today remember this no matter what happens, we aren't called to serve ourselves and our own desires, but instead, we're called to be servants to others just as Christ was. Christ put the well-beings of others above his own, and he put his power aside in order to serve the needs of everyone else. In a similar way, if the verdict doesn't go the way that you were hoping it would, rather than allowing any sort of bitterness to overtake you and to consume you, let's serve God and others above ourselves and our fleshly impulses. Let's comfort those around us who are in pain or angry, and show them love as people who are also made in God's image. Now, you don't have to agree with them, but you are commanded by Christ to love them, no matter how you feel towards them. Love is not having warm, fuzzy feelings towards your enemies, but it's a decision to treat people the way that you would yourself and do what's best for these people, even if they don't always deserve it. So, things may get more intense out there, but I pray that all of us would stay sober-minded and alert, that we don't fall into the snares that the enemy has set for us, and that we take every opportunity to be the salt in the light and the darkness that continues to surround us, however it might look. In Jesus' name, amen.